Hi, my friends. This is my first walk in a while. Uh, I haven't, it's not that I haven't been well. I just haven't had energy. My brain kept telling me, you must walk, you must walk. I even wrote a sub stack about my brain telling me I must walk. My body's like, no, nah, I can't do it. So I didn't, so I'm doing gentle walks. I'm not pushing myself, and I hope you're all being gentle with yourselves as well. I know things are strange, but I just wanted to check in with you all because I've really changed. And uh, when I change, I know everybody else changes too, like my puss. So <laughs> I said to my husband last night, I was listening to John and Donnie. First time ever I was given out. Never did it before. I was shouting at John O'Donoghue, telling him that what he was saying was a load of bollocks. I mean, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I have never in my life done that. And then, then Ian says to me, it's because you've changed, you've changed now. He says, uh, have you grown out of John O'Donoghue? Is everything he says a load of bollocks? I said, no, not everything. We all have different ideas. And I, I'm beginning to believe <coughs> it's about the frequency. I can work out what says frequency matching. I'm using this term all the time. Frequency matching. I used to love Linda Good McGillis. Then she dropped out of my field for a while. I did forgot about her. I got all my life. And then she shows up again this week. Interesting how things show up when we need them. So what did she say? I shared one of her older posts in my telegram. It's quite a long one. I like that one. She said there is no spiritual war going on at the moment. That's what she said. And uh, there was a lot of, I'd say, arguing in her comments, arguing in the comments. So. Uh, then she posts up, I love you all too much to be fighting with you. If you're going to continue to fight with me, I'm going to unfriend you. So I thought that was interesting. Now, those weren't her exact words. But what she basically said was, if you don't like what I'm saying, then fuck off. Now, it would have been better if she just said it like that. But anyway, she's talking about the upper echelon frequency, where it's just pure frequency pure vibration, pure energy, just grace and God. And for me, the dark energies can't get up that high. So of course it's beautiful up there. For me, it's a story that I tell myself and you know what guys, I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. So for those of us who are in lower frequencies where there's a lot more story going on then that's where we are and it's true. And then when we go up higher, there might be less story going on or different story going on and that's okay because it's true and even me on here telling you that it's higher and lower is a story right some of you might recognize my park because i'm a human being i live in the world <laughs> Telling a story is not a bad thing if it's not going to hurt you. I tell stories, I write novels. Yeah? That's, those are stories. I started writing short stories and I'm having a lot of fun. Like, I'm, I'm here to be straight with you. We're at a time where people are accelerating their growth and the time it takes to embody this accelerated growth is uh, different again for everybody and it's not the same process for anybody so I might be good at shifting and growing and accelerating and embodying and moving on that's the titles of my books isn't it awakening to something new transforming to it expanding but then we have solidify and embodiment those are the boring bits so I didn't write about that So what's true for one person is true at the frequency of that person. I hope you can hear me with the wind. I should go somewhere a bit more sheltered. 
because then I go on Instagram and I met a new spiritual warrior over there and I like her and I'm going through her Instagram and she writes a post saying any spiritual healer or teacher or therapist who's a genuine healer does not wear an Apple watch or use iPods. Look what's in my ear. Guess what guys, look, I've got an Apple watch. So I wrote to her and I said, anyone who's a true healer, sorry, I might have been that, anyone who's a true healer can amend and adjust electronics to suit their body better. And what's true for you is not necessarily true for everyone else. I believe I'm a good healer and I'm wearing an Apple Watch and I use iPods because they're the best ones on the market. They're expensive and the other ones hurt my head. And she's like, oh, but if you're not sensitive, then you're not a healer. I am fucking sensitive and I choose my sensitivities and I shield against other things. So this is what I'm saying. If you're making judgment on people and I'm not attacking her, I'm not attacking anyone. I'm just saying like Linda Good McGillis, if you don't agree with me, then fuck off. You're not actually in appreciation for the evolution of humanity, which is what we're all going through. And we're not doing it at the same time. I mean, I've had four children and anyone who's had a child, place that child on a developmental chart and you will know immediately your child, oh, we're behind schedule. There's something wrong with my baby. You don't develop in a straight line. You don't heal in a straight line. Nothing happens in a straight line. So we tell stories. I had a client yesterday and the only way I could work with her and do the healing and open it and get her to trust me and trust the process and understand what was happening by explaining it through story and visualization and imagination. And do you know what? That's what dreams are. We're just working from the other side of dreams. We're telling our soul, this is what we want to happen. We want to forgive. We want to let go. We want to blossom. We want to grow. It's safe to be big. That's what I'm telling you today. It's safe to be big. Okay, be big in your energy. Whatever size your energy field is right now, I guarantee you, you are a quarter of the size that you could be energetically, which does not mean adjusting the physical body to match. So many of us are overweight because we feel we have to match our physical size. We don't. Our physical size and our energetic size are two totally different things. It doesn't matter what frequency you're on. And the only frequency where unconditional love is truly, truly available to human beings is in the upper echelons when they don't have a physical body. You cannot unconditionally love somebody who continuously treats you like crap. Just got, you know, you become resentful. So don't be a martyr. Set your boundaries. Look at the stories that you're telling yourself. I can no longer tell myself that it's winter. See, and that's a great story to change. Change it up. When you change the stories you tell yourself, you feel lighter and better. You can believe there's a spiritual war and it's over there and I step out and I'm not taking part in it. And the more of us that step out of the war, the less people there are to fight for them, they can fuck right off. Just like Linda McGillis didn't say. So that's my rant for today. I'm delighted to be back walking. I think I get a lot of my good thoughts when I'm walking. And uh, maybe I'll see you around sometime. Or maybe I won't. Maybe you're just gonna disagree with everything I say and fuck right off. I'd love to hear from you. Talk to you soon.